Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Ching Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason and I'm back again today. <laughs> so the material I'm sharing lately, I'm aware that there'll be questions arising. There'll be also doubt sneaking in. It's going to cause a wobble in individuals and some are just going to run away from the concepts that I am sharing. And this is all from spirit. And this is in scripture. It's in the ancient texts. It's the truth that's all around us. And so I'm sat here saying to Father, what, what can I give? And I'm thinking about this as well on a deeper level. Add in the precepts that I've learned over the years. And I'm saying to Father, help me put this together. Because I'm aware with the recent material that I've shared. You know, why don't we just then, should we say, wake up home? What was the point of the whole journey? And I'm thinking what others may be thinking. Again, it takes knowledge, wisdom. It's took me years of obtaining insights precepts, go through mystical experiences, learning day and night, that when I do receive these new precepts or this new material from spirit, Father can assist because of the works I've done with him in giving revelation and understanding. I hope that makes sense. Remember, thy kingdom come, there will be done. God is forever exp expanding. OK, it's his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. All right. I have many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you he's transmuting darkness into light. And there is a harvest. OK, a harvest, the fruits. God's again, transmuting darkness into light, taking property, taking ownership, taking back the world through his children coming in which is where creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God to reclaim the kingdom in the expansion of heaven, us individually and collectively all together one in God's kingdom, all right, in his field, expanding. Creation is finished. And so forever the darkness is being pushed back through the cycles with the children waking up. OK, where there is this expand, uh, this restoration and expansion of God through his children. Now, yes, I've mentioned we come from another location and we use a device uh, from an advanced civilization with guardians and engineers, entities that are very evolved in um in knowledge and technology and secret sciences sacred geometry etc now there's verses where it says that we keep going out from that place okay and jesus says he will put our name on a pillar in the temple in god's throne which is forever expanding but there's more context, there's more verses, more to all this. So what we are doing, to my mind, because there is restoration, there is a transformation of darkness into light. There is a casting out of the entities out of the kingdom as the kingdom ex expands the borders through the children, again, claiming their birthright with their crowns okay where whereby you are now creating your eternal heavenly home with the father and this is forever expanding the heavens expand we have gone through a very mystical experience over these recent years with the the presentation of the mandela effect um we've seen the nature of the world the evils the darkness we receive great revelation 
and knowledge we've reflected over our lives to see um, the Father has always been with us where we've had mystical experiences and we've come into this awareness that reality is not what we first thought. We was expecting doomsday back in the year 2012, but something shifted, did happen. And we end up in a timeline where there is a denigration of reality, the final destination before the transformation and the restoration, which is part of the expansion. And many of us have wanted to die because of a horrific atonement we went through, a stripping away. And this was a process where we overcome death. Death is the last enemy we must overcome, right? And learning of these, learning of the nature of this realm, that we are in spirit, we're already in God's kingdom. So what we are doing by turning to spirit where God comes down and abides in us, with us collectively, as it says in scripture, and he will abide in us and among us is expanding. I have many mansions and this is the mansions. We become new creatures whereby creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God. Therefore, the light, the worlds expand and we are starting to create heaven in the collective it's like we are leaving home to become the sons of God in the expansion of the kingdom. And so now we're sticking on eternity. And what's been presented to us, because of what's been going on during the end of the cycles, there is a supernatural mystical event where we are suddenly transformed. There is a mystical sudden transformation because now God's coming down to us. All right. And so we're given glorified bodies. But this this is something totally different. This is I'm starting to see this language, this this message coming across. And it's it's sort of conveying to me in the expansion through the investment in heaven we have done in here. God is forever expanding and growing. And we are the unique creatures creating in the garden. And he's pruning the negative from us that we would bear more of the good fruit. In the expansion of the kingdom. Whereby we don't return back where we've come from. We're going, we're going forward in where we want to go with the wheels of fire into our heavenly eternal home from the foundation of the journey from the investment in here with our families. We have families now and we've been praying for them and another place has been prepared, prepared for us. And it, so there seems to be this, should we say, relocation and expansion of heaven, whereby there is this divine idea on our final on our final journeys out of should we say that heavenly home we used to abide in where we came from as the angels but we've come into the spectre for a reason to learn to learn of the tree of knowledge then to be transmuted and take from the tree of life whereby a mystical experience happens spirit comes down and abides with us and we are ushed in the expansion of the kingdom whereby our lives and reality is a wonderful transformation of that garden of God's kingdom. I hope that makes sense. So even though I'm sharing the material of where the gods come from, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's where we're going back. Because there's a lot going on with reality and in the spiritual realms. And with the knowledge I've obtained over the years, I'm starting to see, I and mean, it makes more sense to me. Because, yeah, I have questions, but I've turned to spirit. I do my research and I'm thinking about what it is that I'm sharing, what questions are going to arise and how can I answer them? And I don't want to waste your time. And I want to come from a place of wisdom 
from that which I've received from spirit. And so I'm, I'm sat here having deep four exercises and saying, Father, they're going to need more. I need more. I, I Help me to piece this bit together because you got me sharing this material. But I need to make the connections now, the overlays, the bridging with what I have mentioned in connection with where we are going, with everything that's going on. And so I... I'm listening to spirit and these these connections are being made. And I'm like, I, I understand. I get it. How am I going to articulate this and convey it, get it out there to cast away the fears and doubts? Again, where we are going into where we are going is a wonderful future that will prosper you. Again, I paraphrase. Father says, it's not my will to hurt you, but to give you a wonderful future that will prosper you. He's making all things new. And so we've left our first estate that we would abide in a brand new one from the things obtained from our journey, investment in here, that we would expand in our new ab abode, all right, which is the expansion of the kingdom. Thou kingdom come, there will be done. Hence, God comes and abides again in us on the thrones. And amongst us, transmuting again darkness into light. And it's the expansion. And hence you get the language where they're pushed out the kingdom. Again, they are relocated. So there is a relocation of souls, a new foundation laid, a new kingdom erected, etc. Hopefully you can grasp the language that's coming across here in accordance with the scripture that we know with the things that we've done with the father and the things that we've learned and i've talked about over these videos with what we see going on in the world this is all spiritual reality is fluid right the enemy as it says in scripture the darkness it has no power what power they had before is taken away from them and they had all the signs. I know that something happened on the eclipse on April the 8th. I felt a shift. It's now the third. And it still feels like there's not much going on. But I know that there is. I know in my heart. I know that what I'm receiving and what it is that I'm giving. This is what I'm sent to do. So please do not doubt. Do not fear. This is why it says in scripture, do not rely on your own understanding, but lean on me. It's seeking this scripture, seeking God and the depths of God to get understanding, turning to the father. Where he, he, he starts connecting the dots, he gives us these revelations. And things start to make sense and hence we can look back, we can see where we come from even before we came into these shadow century copies. Why are we here and where are we going? And we are new creatures now with a family and a heart's desires ready for the expansion of that. Well, we're not going to go back to the place where, that we left in the beginning. Why would we leave? Why would we have left in the first place, place if we were perfectly happy? Well, there's a reason. And we learn about this transmutation, transformation, translation of us as the angelic beings, the angels that go through the process in the expansion of ourselves, becoming the heavenly beings in the collective of God, which is the expansion of the kingdom. All right. So I just wanted to get on here and share that with you. I know a lot more is coming in. I'm going to be putting more material together. And this is also not to say that we many may not go back home to that place that we call home well it's all home this is the expansion of home and so yeah this is what i'm getting we'll be able to even go back to should we say the dwelling places we started off before even coming in this world it's all about the expansion right thou kingdom come thou will be done transmute in darkness into light and we'll we will be able to even look back at our lives uh, and it's only one life all right 
expanding, transforming right back before we even come into this world. And we can go back there and see that and see ancient worlds in their glory and see the expansion of God's kingdom. While all at the same time, we are created our own little heaven, which is revealed in Revelation. If you look at the root words and do your investigation from the foundation of your journey with your heart's desires, all the investments with the burning wheels now going into that wonderful new future where your heavenly estate is erected. The 144,000, all those in Christ, now go to their revenant places in the expansion of the kingdom. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengu Jitsu Master, a mystic messenger. Love you guys. Have a good day. <laughs>